my ex-girlfriend and her son they need a place to stay and they they're they have a really bad living situation and they just got kicked out of their home and her son is like like three years old and she called me and asked me if i had an extra room and we have three bedrooms although two of the bedrooms are offices um you know we still have more than enough to, to share so i figured i'll turn my office into a place for her to stay and i told her she could you know she could bring her son and they could stay for like two months it's not a problem because we have you know we got the space and i'm the type of person where i always want to look out for somebody no matter what the situation is regardless you know and obviously she called me because she knew what type of person i am and that i wouldn't you know i wouldn't want to see somebody homeless you know what i mean so i got their suitcases back here i just met with her and picked up the suitcases and i'm about to take them home and basically just set my office up so that way my ex can come and she can be comfortable in our home and she can get back on her feet and i don't really know how my baby's gonna feel about it but this is one of those decisions that i had to make on my own and you know she's just gonna have to catch up she <laughs> she's just gonna have to figure it out you know what i mean because like it's always good to do good in the world no matter what no matter what the situation is your ex you know or not you know what i'm saying so that's what i'm gonna be doing is i'm gonna be preparing preparing a nice space for my ex to come with her lovely son and they can set up shop and then we're going to let baby know what's happening and we're going to get her reaction to the news. And hopefully she's cool with it. You know what I mean? Because love is love. You know what I mean? And love is to be extended. <laughs> love is to be extended to everyone. Doesn't matter what the circumstance is. She's going to be pissed. I know she's going to be pissed, but I don't care because I am doing something good you know so if she's gonna get mad while i'm trying to do something good then that's just gonna have to be that so let's go to the crib let's get set up when i get home basically i'm gonna set up my room i'm gonna change in my office into a room we got a little blow bed that i'm gonna I'm put up that my sister was using a couple months ago so i'm gonna put that blow bed up set that blow bed up get their stuff all in and we're gonna give baby's reaction guys obviously this is a joke i would never cross that boundary of you know i don't play i don't even play x games but I wouldn't cross that boundary, but today I'm about to cross that boundary just to piss baby off. So let's see how she's gonna react to the to the big news, the life changing news. Just two months is two months. Two months is not a long time. You know what I mean? Like so, let's see how she reacts to the news of me moving in my ex and her son. Just just for two months. Let's see. Guys, I just got back to the house. I have no idea what Tati is up to. So I gotta sneak in and just be casual. So I can set the camera up and then we can, we can get this started, y'all. So she's actually on a walk with Nova, so I don't have much time. I got the little kid's suitcase down by the stairs so when she comes in and comes up, she'll see it. And then she'll come in here I'm talking about whose suitcase is this? I got this suitcase over here and then I'm getting the bed blown up and getting it ready. Like I'm cleaning the room, getting the room ready. Oh shit.
to go uh, grab these, grab this luggage. I want to go grab this luggage. Do we have a sheet? I need okay. a sheet for this. Whose who's suitcase is that? Oh, can you bring that in here for me, please? That's my um, that's my ex's son's suitcase. What do you say? That's my ex's son's suitcase. She called me earlier and like all traumatic, and she's going through some like crazy stuff. And she got her and her son got kicked out, so they're homeless. So I said like we have we got these extra rooms. So I told her that this they, is your office. First of I, all, no ex is coming here. What do you mean? Your ex is not coming here. Baby, she's definitely coming here. She, they going to stay. And her like, son? Yeah, she has. A Why little, do you have their suitcases? I just met her and picked them up. She went to go handle some other stuff, and I told her like, you know, let me, let me just. Babe, 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 babe. no, because you didn't even ask me. You just baby, literally, like, you didn't call me. You didn't tell me. You didn't ask me. Like, and you're blowing blow beds in your office. You need your office to work. We can't have no ex here. Baby, we Why are you still speaking to your ex? Offices. We have two offices. Yeah, well, she wouldn't be going in my office. She's not going in your office, but you and I should share an office. She's not coming in here either. I, need I can't believe that you wouldn't ask me first. You would just go ahead. And I don't. I don't see a problem with it. She there's a big help. problem. There's what a big problem. Why would, problem? why would she call you? Why would she call her mom or someone else? Because like, why she, she doesn't have you? a good relationship with her mom. She called me because she obviously knew that I would help. It's not going to be anything long term. It's going to be for like two months. Two months? Two Are you months. kidding me? There's nobody coming here for two months. I'll tell you that. Baby, There's nobody honestly, coming here for two months. It's not happening. It's baby, not it's happening. It's for discussion. It's I already, I have her stuff right here. Well, take it back. Take it back. No, I'm not take doing that. She literally she's is not coming here in like 30 minutes. She is not I coming here. I want to be here. Together. She's got a little man. Baby, that's not my problem. That's not my fault. So what am I supposed to do? Wait, I'm sorry, but my wife said I didn't ask my wife first. Baby, come on, that's not cool. Baby, it's not cool that you didn't tell me that your ex is coming here to stay. Like Babe, we have three rooms. It doesn't matter the rooms. It doesn't matter. We could have ten rooms, and I still don't want her here. But she's not even gonna bother you. And you said what do you mean? She's your ex Babe, is staying you in our you... house. It's not. It's okay, not okay. Did, you, not did you or did you not tell me that you need friends? You okay. guys can be cool. She cool peoples. Oh my freaking god! It's not nothing. It's not nothing like that. She respects our marriage. She's not gonna be doing that crazy. We just gonna help her out for like two months. I told her like I got a little girl. I really don't care what you have to say. I don't care what you have to say, babe. I just want to You didn't call me. You didn't even ask me. After she called you, you should have said, "Listen, I need to go and ask my wife before I make this decision by myself babe. to have an ex coming here." When is she coming, babe? You wait. When is she coming? She'll be here in like forty-five minutes. Forty-five minutes. You're gonna tell her to regroup somewhere else. Where's well, she not coming go? Here. She's not coming here. Well, okay. Well, can she at least stay here until for like? Why would she stay here? She's your ex girlfriend. It doesn't matter. She's my ex girlfriend. It she does. Needs help. It she does. Needs our help. She doesn't. Need my help she didn't call me and asked me and she called you and asked you so i'm pretty sure she doesn't need nothing please tell her to regroup to elsewhere Babe, i can't please. Do, I, can, I can't do that and she has a kid well then if she's coming here i'm leaving Babe, which one no, you're not which leave, one you're not leaving i will leave nobody no, put, put no. the blood bed down Babe, put stop. the blood bed and down need some sheets for this nobody can even sleep on this blood bed it's a blow up a, a, a two-year-old three-year-old her little boy her and and Hassan cannot stay here. I'm just gonna tell you one more time. They cannot stay here. Not in my house. Not in my yeah, house. This is my house too. You I know. know. But I'm saying Stop shouting at me. No, no stop shouting at me. I mean I listen to me. I, I can't believe that you would you you have your ex coming here. I'm I kidding. made this decision. I'm helping her out. Then I'm She's going. homeless. No, you're not going anywhere, baby. I'm not staying here with your ex. And her son and you. Why I'm not? not doing it's, it. Like you don't even have to think it. of her as my ex. I'm like, not that doing has it. nothing to do with it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing so it. So what am I supposed to okay. okay. You're supposed to call her and say, listen, I didn't tell my wife that you was coming. Sorry, you can't come. I don't know why you keep fixing the sheet. Nobody's staying here. I'm gonna sit on this bed. When she gets here, I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna say, hey, what's up? You're not coming. Baby, I thought you was a nice person. You're not being very nice right now. This girl's homeless. She has a kid. You didn't ask it's the, me. It's the fucking holidays. The holidays like, are finished. It's January. The holidays are not done. The holidays January. run through January. She has nowhere to stay. They're here in um, Arizona. I told her she can come for a little bit. It doesn't maybe have to be two months, but I'm not going to tell her, yo, you can't come because my wife is immature. Immature? You're being immature. Why why you, so, so why do you ask me first? 
I'm telling you now. I don't feel like I, I had to ask for anything. I paid the bills in this crib. Oh, so if my ex was coming here to say, exactly, exactly, that's a different story. Exactly. Exactly. That's a different so story. Take her story, and she has a kid. I don't care. She has a kid. Don't be throwing little man stuff. What's wrong with you? And Novus is gonna love it to have a kid in the crib. Nova does not care. And you, you guys can be friends. Y'all can do things together. Put down. I'm not gonna I know do you're that. Not serious. Baby, I'm not gonna do that. I already told her she can come here and I'm gonna get the place set up for her and her son. Then I will so see you. So that's just gonna be it. I will see you then. Babe. I will see you. You're being irrational. Just calm down. And can you please give me some pillows? Here, take the suitcases back. I'm gonna pack my suitcase no, and I will see you. No, you're not gonna pack your suitcase, baby. Stop being dramatic. I'm not being dramatic. I'm not. How am I being dramatic? You didn't ask me. Okay, all right. If I would have asked you, would anything have changed? Yes, I would have said no, and then you would have said okay, and then we would. This wouldn't have even been an argument. But I'm being a good person. Like, what am I supposed of to course, do? Of course, you could be a good I person, could... but be a good person ask your wife first. That's being a good person. If you was homeless with a kid, yes, I wouldn't be calling my you. ex. I'd be calling my mother. But what if you? What if I was your ex? What if I was your? I'm ex? I'm not calling you. You're you my ex for a reason. You know that I'm, you You're my ex. ex. For a reason, I would have no reason to Okay, so if you was in a bind and you was in a bad a situation, a you was in a bad situation, mm -hmm. and I was your ex, and you you know if you call me, you know I'm gonna help you. You're not gonna call me? No, nope, I'm not gonna call you. Put a little man shit right here, man. Oh, so what? We're gonna play Happy Family? We're not gonna play Happy Family. They're gonna be secluded in here. So I'm what are you gonna do? Where are you gonna work? I'm gonna move my desk in your office. No, you're not. No, you're not. My office is my office, and it stays that way. You're not moving anything into my office. Babe, we can, so you're gonna have to climb over work. the children, climb over your ex, get to your office, and do your work. That's what you're gonna have to do. <laughs> okay. I'm Why gonna, you, I'm gonna tell her she can't come. Cause you, Why would you tell her she could come in the first place? Because I, I thought I was. Why are you laughing? I'm not laughing, but I thought I was doing something nice, like. Good job, baby. I was I can tell you you do something. Right, right. I think you, you got a good heart. Your heart is in the right place. But I just don't think it's it's convenient for her staying here. It's not convenient, but you know, it's a little Your bit. Your ex like, doesn't even like me. Why would I want her in my house? What do you mean she doesn't like you? She don't got a problem with you. She's coming to your house. So why didn't she call me and ask me if she could stay here? <laughs> baby, imagine that. And yes, imagine that. That would be better off. Cause then I would, I would be able to talk to her and figure out the situation and tell her she cannot come here. I'm telling you the situation. She needs a place to stay. She has no place to stay. Her and her kid. We don't have extra sheets. This is all we have. So where is she going to sleep? Well, I'll go get some sheets. The hell, you're doing a lot for this person. Baby, if you were my ex, I would do the same thing for you. No, I hope you wouldn't because I'm your ex. If you and I broke up, I'm if you and I got divorced, e and you and me, you e need help. I'm, I'm gonna be leaving. I'm don't. Gonna help you. I'm gonna be leaving. No, you don't need to help me. I, I would do the same thing for you. I don't need help. I'm gonna be leaving shortly. As soon as she, as soon as she gets here, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna go pack my stuff right now. You guys have fun. Have fun. All right, baby. Bye. Babe. Hey. What? Come here. Why? Come here. Why? The time is running out. She's gonna be here soon. Right? 45 minutes? Calm down. What's wrong with you? Calm down. Why should I calm, calm down? down? If I told you my ex is coming calm to stay here. Calm down. Your ex. Your ex come to stay in my house. You know that. So huh? stop playing with me. Your ex would not come stay in my house. And your That's ex not happening. staying in my house, so. Boo, like what do you mean? It doesn't work one way, not the other. I mean. It just, it and just, even then, it's a one off. I wouldn't would have an ex. I this is a one off situation, house. and this is just what it is. So, All right, enjoy. If you're gonna make this cause problems between us, that's something that you're gonna choose, and that's on you, my love. You enjoy, my love. Babe, get what? back in here. What? Why are you here? Oh, just one more thing, for real. One more thing, one more thing. I'm really mad at you. I'm no, not don't be mad at me. I'm dead serious. I was just joking. There's no X. There's no X. So whose stuff is this? I just bought these. <laughs> you are so I was annoying. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Someone kid coming to stay in my house. I couldn't resist the suit when I see that. I was like, ah, oh, she got a son. <laughs> the son is coming too. <laughs> That was messed up! Oh my god, now I gotta get this blow bed out of here. <laughs> can you help me gonna, unblow this bed? What's your ex to do it? I might just keep the blow bed in here so I can have a little like lay down spot when I'm done. <laughs> when I get done. Sorry, we stink. I was just playing around.
My blood pressure. Your blood is pressure okay. is boiling. It's boiling. Did I? I just ruined your day. Yeah, because anything with an X just is so annoying. Look like at nose. Right nose. We don't say we don't want no X's around here. I was just playing. Oh my God. I reckon if, if I was single, single, I would actually you. do that. Of course. No, I feel like even if you wasn't single, you'd still do that. No, I would never. I would no, never. I feel like you would because you're just so nice. You're so such a nice person. You don't know how to say no. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't. I wouldn't anyway, I love you. I was just playing around. Okay. <laughs> Well, guys, as you can see, that is not happening. It's not going down. It would Baby never. is not about it. She's not for it. So that is what it is. But that was a great reaction. I just wanted to get into your skin. Mm. I love you. I love we'll you catch y'all in the next video. Ah.